Thank you, Dr. McGraney. And even though I have enjoyed the crab cakes here, I'd rather the beignets and crawfish in New Orleans, man. I really. <laughs> At this time, the chair recognizes Brother William Bill Towns, our vice president for convention finance. There's the SBC executive committee, and the local arrangements committee presentation. Thank you, Dr. Luter. I bring you welcome and greetings from our local arrangements committee, from the volunteers who are serving you, and welcome to the 2014 Southern Baptist Convention annual meeting. As a missionary kid, I grew up in Central Africa, and my parents taught me to love the Great Commission and the Great Commandment. When I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I learned to love Jesus. Southern Baptist taught me to love and appreciate our shared commitment to missions to reach the whole world with the gospel. In my role as convention manager, I am indebted to those who have come before me and were so committed to our sacred effort. One of those individuals was Pastor Billy Major, who passed away in 1938. You may know that he served on the inaugural commission on cooperative program in 1925. But you may not know that he also made a motion at that meeting in 1925 on the floor, like many motions were made later today. But it affects you this morning. Listen to Dr. Major's motion. Dr. Major requested that the executive committee provide an amplifier for the future sessions of the convention so that all should hear the proceedings of the convention because of their great importance. We can continue to carry out that laudatory and auditory recommendation. Who could have predicted that in 1925, Southern Baptists would agree to amplify our voice by technological means and also amplify our impact by missiological means by establishing the cooperative program? As you are aware, a meeting of this size requires orchestrated planning, dedicated people to make it a harmonious success. In addition to your executive committee staff, we have been blessed this year to work with a local arrangements committee seated on the st stage behind me that has been led by co-chairs Robert Anderson, David Hall, and by members Doug Dubois, Ellen Yudovich, and Bob Mackey. These volunteers have been serving you in the areas of ushers, greeters, prayer room pages, microphone monitors, and registration. They have arrived early this morning, and they will stay late to take care of your needs. I would also like to thank Don McGee, who serves as your assistant convention manager, who has worked with these volunteers to equip them to serve you. It has been a privilege for Don and myself to minister alongside them, and they are serving God by serving you today. Words cannot adequately express our appreciation to these volunteers from the Baptist Convention of Maryland, Delaware, Baptist Collegiate Ministry, Southeastern Seminary, and especially Colonial Baptist Church and Oak Grove Baptist Church. Additionally, I must express our gratitude to the volunteers from the Southern Baptist Disaster Relief Children's Response Team and the Women's Missionary Union who are providing care for your children and also your grandchildren today. I would also like to bring your attention to a prayer room that is the back of this hall. The Baptist Convention of Maryland, Delaware is hosting that along with Global Missions Church, and they've done a fantastic job with that today. Your daily bulletin includes a prayer request card, and if you'd like to fill that out and drop that back in the prayer room, there will be people there to either pray for you or with you this week. Again, thank you for being here. But more importantly, thank you for showing and sharing the love of Christ with those of you have encountered in Baltimore already. Some of you may have seen some of the workers wearing buttons, prayer buttons. The local city in Baltimore did those buttons and passed that out. So many of these service workers who are serving your food, who are serving you at the restaurants and hotels are carrying the message of prayer to Baltimore already in advance of you. I know that many of you have already conveyed your gratefulness to our volunteer team, but please join me once again as we express our appreciation to them. Thank you.